So many on Twitter were calling out Aaron Rodgers for snubbing Donald Trump. And there was kind of a 10, 15 second clip going around where Aaron Rodgers did not get up to shake Donald Trump's hand. And a lot of people were upset about that. And then Aaron Rodgers released this uh, Instagram post showing him actually shaking hands with Donald Trump that happened sometime throughout that night, last night, at UFC 302. However, I'm still calling that Aaron Rodgers absolutely snubbed Donald Trump. And I'll show you why I think that in a second here. Before, a couple hours ago, I only had saw that 10 second clip of Aaron Rodgers not getting up to shake Trump's hand. But watch this minute and 15 second clip that has commentary from Joe Rogan in the background. And you'll see that the entire arena was aware. And I'll play the clip here and I'll react to it as it's going. Everyone's aware that Donald Trump is coming in. Aaron Rodgers, in my opinion, clearly made the decision to not stand up and not shake his hand. And I think that the internet, the people that are upset about this, have every reason to be. Because I think, again, Aaron Rodgers made the clear decision, I'm not going to shake Donald Trump's hand right now. UFC CEO Dana White, Donald Trump, is in the building and the former president getting a standing ovation from the assembled masses. Here at UFC 302. So clearly at this point, every person in the arena knows that Donald Trump, former president, is walking through with Dana White and the entire arena is on its feet and at least aware of what is happening. Donald Trump is walking through the arena. Everybody knows that is happening. And then right here is pretty much where the main clip that was going viral on Twitter last night is about 15 seconds or so shows Donald Trump walking down the aisle and Aaron Rodgers not standing up and certainly not shaking his hand. And really, if you look close, you can see it looks like Donald Trump and Aaron Rodgers meet eyes and Aaron Rodgers just goes like this. But this is the clip that went viral, but it doesn't, it leaves out that part, that 30 second buildup where Aaron Rodgers obviously knows Donald Trump is about to come walk near him. So in my opinion, Aaron Rodgers has no plausibility whatsoever to say, well, maybe I didn't know he was coming or I was on my phone or I was talking to my friend, which I, if you look at that 10 second clip, you might think that, but based on this, there's no way Aaron Rodgers isn't completely aware Donald Trump is walking down his aisle right now and shaking people's hands as he walks by. Well, you had a sneaking suspicion that former President Trump would be in the building for UFC 302. So right there, not shaking his hand, clearly was aware that he was coming up. And I'll, I'm going to play that little clip again in a second here, but we're just going to keep going here, showing that Donald Trump ends up actually shaking Joe Rogan's hand. Boy, the round of applause he's getting right now is pretty staggering. And you had to imagine that's what was going to happen. Thank you, sir. So you heard Joe Rogan say right there, the round of applause Donald Trump is getting is pretty staggering right now. Meaning Aaron Rodgers definitely knew he was coming through. The whole arena was aware of that. And Joe Rogan, to his credit, shook his hand. Like I've heard Joe Rogan say in his podcast tons of times that he even said one time, I don't want to help Donald Trump. And I think he even said like he was supportive of Bernie Sanders, but... Just shake the guy's hand. If a former president in the whole arena is making such a big deal of this, just shake the guy's hand. Why sit there and like Aaron Rodgers looks just like he's afraid to be seen making a spectacle, shaking Donald Trump's hand. I think the reason people are upset, the one reason is the world needs to get over this. Just even if you don't like Donald Trump's politics, like I think Aaron Rodgers is an RFK guy, don't like be too good just to shake the guy's hand. Just be cordial, be friendly in that moment. Who cares if you get on a camera? The world needs to get past this, that person's on the other team, so no way, I'm not gonna shake his hand. Well, you had a sneaking suspicion that former president- So now to be a bit of a conspiracy theorist, 
I think Aaron Rodgers got the blowback on this and was like, crap, can I find a picture of me shaking Donald Trump's hand? Because he obviously would have known he did that, but I need to put this on my Instagram. I don't like this kind of heat I'm taking on social media. Again, that's just a conspiracy, like potential. That's just me kind of guessing what Aaron Rodgers did. But I do think that he made the decision there not to shake Trump's hand. And it looks like, again, he went like, nope, not going to shake your hand because, I mean, I don't know, maybe he just doesn't want to be associated with Trump. But I think the reason people are upset about this, a lot of Aaron Rodgers fans are number one, just get over it and shake his hand. I don't even if it's Obama coming down there and you disagree with all his politics, just shake the guy's hand. Why do we have to all be divided on all these things? Like just even in that moment, you can disagree with him later. Just shake the guy's hand if you're not gonna vote for him. And the second thing I think is that a lot of people that were defending Aaron Rodgers online would have been people that like Donald Trump. Like Aaron Rodgers goes at the woke mob and has this big battle with Jimmy Kimmel online with lots of like exchanging words. Who do you think Aaron Rodgers, this is to you, who do you think is going to be defending you? It's going to be a bunch of people who probably align more against the woke mob. And those people, there'd be a high correlation of people that also like Donald Trump. So you get in these online arguments and you go on the Pat McAfee show and you get these, you're clearly benefiting from some public pressure put on from the kind of anti-woke crowd or the people that in his case were at least against the COVID vaccine. I know that doesn't, line up exactly with Trump supporters, but there's a lot of people that, on, that were defending Aaron Rodgers online who undoubtedly are also Trump supporters. So if you're going to sit there and be like, know that for a minute, Donald Trump's coming down the aisle and you decide not to shake his hand, I think you deserve the blowback on Twitter. And I just think it's a bad look. Just shake his hand, swallow your pride for two seconds. It's This is bad for America when people don't even want to associate with other people in public. So... I guess with that said, I think this is an L for Aaron Rodgers. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, and again, I guess the conspiracy part of it is that I think he just released that picture on Instagram today because he's like, oh, this didn't really go the way I thought it would. But that's just a theory. But anyway, if you agree in the comments, let me know. If you disagree, let me know. Either way, thanks for watching. Have a good day.